What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for an update for you. An update on Matt Doherty specifically, as there's been a bit of a spanner in the works of what has been going on with Matt Doherty. We heard earlier on today that we brought you that he will be going on loan for the remainder of the season to Atletico Madrid. But um, there's been a bit of a complication and because Spurs have already got eight players on loan, which is the limit, we aren't allowed to loan any other player out. So Spurs and Matt Doherty have mutually terminated the contract, which is crazy, to be honest. And what an oversight from Tottenham. How how can that e this even happen? Yeah, it's crazy that uh, we've got to a stage where we... we didn't even realize the rules that we're playing under and that we've um, already got reached the FIFA limit of eight players that you're allowed on loan. Um, those players that we currently have on loan are Brian Hill, Giovanni Lo Celso, Tongi Ndombele, Sergio Regalon, Joe Roden, Destiny, Destiny Udoji, Jed Spence and Harry Winks. They're all out on loan at the moment and the FIFA limit is eight players out on loan and with the deadline fast approaching with Matt Doherty if he was to stay at Tottenham um, set to miss out on a Champions League place we have also we have now felt it um, reasonable to terminate his contract to allow him to join Atletico Madrid on a free transfer before the deadline um, has closed and it's absolutely crazy that this wasn't considered um, uh, before the deadline and we were just willy-nilly loaning loads of players even realising that there's a limit on how many players we're allowed to loan out and it's it's um, really poor planning and it's up there with one of the biggest oversights you're likely to see in a, a professional football club like Tottenham is supposed to be, you know, billion pound football club. How like this goes past like, the legal team and stuff like that is crazy. And it's like... You're a multi-million, billion pound uh, company and you keep getting things wrong like this. I mean, it's a joke, to be honest. But look, at the end of the day, it's not the biggest deal in the world because when Matt Doherty was going to come back at the end of the season, we were looking to get him out of the door anyway. So what this is, is that we've cancelled the contract and he's going to join Atletico now till the end of the season and then he'll be a free agent or he signs on with Atletico permanently. So look... It is a massive oversight and it looks really bad on the club that they don't know the rules that they're playing in. But on the face of things, it's not too bad and it's probably a better situation that we were in before. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but if you're Daniel Levy, um, he's probably, I was about to say tearing his hair out, but he's not doing that. <laughs> but he's probably uh, furious, you know, with, with, with that oversight because he's probably thinking maybe cost him a, a million or a few million, you know, that he could have got on the transfer market, maybe selling him. And now he, they've had to cancel. I, I guess the mutual implies that um, we're not paying him off. No, we won't be paying him off because he'll still be, he'll be getting his wages from Atletico Madrid. It'll be exactly, the, the deal would be exactly the same as he's on loan. It's just that we won't have anything to do with it anymore. Right. Much. So I guess from that aspect, we're not losing out too much money um, from, um, from cancelling his contract. It's just a potential transfer fee that we could have gotten yeah, um, in the if summer. Yeah, we could have got anything. Uh, I think with one year left, a year left, thirty two probably years old. Yeah, a few few million, two or three mm, million, four million maybe. I reckon you can get someone to spend four million on him. If Atletico Madrid are interested, they wouldn't be paying money for him. I will tell you that. If it's cheap money, maybe a cheap few million. Yeah, you know, I'm not so sure. I'm not convinced. I reckon you could have got you could have got someone to pay a few million for him. Um, but that is um, a massive oversight. If you bring on the phone. Um, let's see how uh, things unfolded. So Spurs tweeted this out. Um, we have mutually agreed to the, to the termination of Matt Doherty's contract to enable him to join another club. Thanks for everything, Doc. That is what Tottenham tweeted out um, uh, to signal the end of his contract. And it was actually interesting because Romano tweeted out just after saying Doherty joins uh, Atletico straight loan deal. He and, only gets uh, things wrong with Spurs. Yeah, but <laughs> only about, with Spurs. And um, <clears throat> here was the uh, announcement um, from uh, Atletico Madrid. There he is, um, uh, showing. It doesn't look good in red, to be fair. No, and the, he'll, he'll, he'll enjoy it. And then obviously here's um, an, a picture of him uh, in his Atletico Madrid gear. Two thumbs up. He looks very happy. And I have to say, what a move for Matt Doherty. How he has uh, um, got a move to Atletico Madrid 
considering um, his performances since he's come to Tottenham. It's quite astounding, to be honest. Um, he, I don't think he's at the level of Atletico. I think on his day, he can be quite an effective wing-back when it comes to um, his arrivals in the box, his positioning. Um, I think he's quite a clever player. Um, in, in the fact that he he makes the most out of his um, out of his limited ability, in my opinion, but he does have limited ability. He does He's not very good technically. He's not very good at cross of the ball. He's um, de- he's decent at short range pass passing, but his long range passing isn't great. Um, his his finishing is actually not too bad when he gets the chance, but it's about how often he gets in those areas. And I think his defending has a lot to be desired. Um, I think he's slow. He's easily beaten. Um, I think position, positional wise, he's okay. He's quite disciplined, but um, I, don't, I don't fancy him. Everyone, he's one on one with a winger. I think aerially, he's all right, but um, I don't think he's a particularly fantastic tackler. So, I mean, Atletico do have a starting uh, right back in Molina right now, and I don't think Doherty's going to be taking his place anytime soon. But to be able to have the chance to work under Simeone and, and have six months um, in La Liga, a top club like that, it's a fantastic opportunity for him. Yeah, now Doherty in the last couple of years would have been managed by Jose Mourinho, Antonio Conte, and now Diego Simeone. And Nuno, don't forget <laughs> and Nuno. Nuno. <laughs> and Ryan Mason. Um, mm. But look, no, was he there when Ryan Mason? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he was. was. Yeah, so look, I mean, with Matt, I think that when he came to the club, I was expecting a lot more than what he brought. I think he's definitely not been a success of a signing. He's probably had about a handful. You can probably count them on two hands how many good games he's had for Spurs, uh, which, you know, the performances that we were really expecting. So I'm happy that he's gone to Atletico. Uh, obviously, we wish him the best for the future because he was a key part of the dressing room. He was very close with like the leadership team at Spurs with Eric mm. Dyer and Harry Kane and stuff like that. So he was a big influence in the dressing room. But I think it's uh, the right time for him to go. And I think it was probably... I'm not, I'm not too fussed about us uh, cancelling his contract whatsoever. I just think it kind of gets away a headache from us that we don't need. We've already got so many players coming back that we need to get rid of at the end of the season. It's just one less headache for us that we don't need to deal with. Yeah, it just signals a bit of disorganisation, though, doesn't it? Yeah, of in, course. Within of course. Um, how things are run at Tottenham, which um, is fairly worrying in terms of uh, how this was a such Someone's an oversight. Someone's job today, I'll tell you that. Yeah, how the how this wasn't noticed or picked up on is um, was definitely worrying. And um, we're wondering why the announcement for this as well was taking so long. And uh, then it news started filtering through about an hour before the announcement that, what, um, has anyone noticed this rule? And everyone's like, oh yeah, look at this rule. <laughs> and then it's like, I'm not sure how we're going to get around that. And then like the Spurs just announced contract termination. We're like, oh, okay, now that makes sense. Um but does, it says a lot as well when Atletico Madrid went for Jed Spence before they went for Matt Doherty and Jed Spence can't get into the Spurs team. He mm. Conte doesn't want to give him minutes. He's hardly played at top flight football, Jed Spence. And then they go for Matt Doherty as an afterthought who actually is ahead of Jed Spence in the pecking order. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that tells you a lot of where Atletico's mind is at. They went for him as a literal last resort. Literal yeah, uh, um, I think when it comes to his time at Tottenham, I think we saw glimpses of what he showed at Wolves for nothing really more than that. When he was on form, he was pretty good, but it never really lasted. Un- 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 unfortunately, obviously, injuries um, counted against him. He got very unlucky with that um, last season. But um, in his first season, he was pretty atrocious under Mourinho. I can't remember a single good game he really had. Yeah, that, uh, that game against Arsenal with him and Bale on the wings. Oh, that was, that was, that was horrendous. Awful. And then he was actually pretty bad um for the for for the majority for the for a large part of last season as well up until there's a period in february he really started to hit his stride and then we then we saw the real matt doherty unfortunately he got injured it took him a while to come back from that injury and we never really saw apart from glimpses this season of um that of matt doherty of february last season like returning and unfortunately it was just never he never hit those consistent heights and he never really showed what he showed at wolves and um yeah, I think when when he's been, it's been such a long time now um, that he's been shown this kind of form. I think it's right to let him go. I wish him all the best, Atletico. I think he's done fantastically well to get that that move. Look, George and Mendes is his agent, him. so he's probably got a few uh, a few friends at Atletico. Unbelievable, fair play to him. But and uh, um, that's now two right backs. We've cancelled their contracts in the last uh, what two, two years? Three years, yeah. Uh, Serge Aurier we cancelled, and Matt Doherty now. It just show, goes to show the recruitment since um, sending Carl. 
Walker, how bad it has been. Yeah. But Dr. Do- will argue, look what Trippier did out, out in uh, Spain and um, how he improved and became a better player for it. So he'll be hoping to do the same. I'm just, um, I'm not sure he's on Trippier's level. Nah, no chance. I mean, when he comes back from Atletico, he's going to be 32 years of age. Um, I can't see him going anywhere in the, even in the Premier League when he comes back. I think he might even drop down to the Championship or very low down in the Premier League for teams fighting against relegation. But um, look, at the end of the day, thank you for your service. Um, sometimes it wasn't great watching you, but we had a definitely a nice few uh, games uh, last season before that injury. But before we end, let's just talk about the other confirmed deals today. Jed Spence has been confirmed to Wren, which has been made official. And they say on the uh, Twitter account, Jed Spence has joined League One, starred Wren for the remainder of the season. Smash it, Jed. And mm. Harvey White has gone on loan to Derby County in League One for the remainder of the season. They say Harvey White has joined League One signed Derby. For the remainder of the season good luck harvey so there's only one more announcement we are waiting for today and it's that is obviously one. pedro porro we'll bring you that as soon as that is released we've been waiting for it for the last like god knows how long now but we're not going home until it <laughs> until it <laughs> comes but uh that is the big news so far in this last day of the transfer window spurs have mutual well spurs and matt doherty have mutually terminated the contract and he has joined atletico madrid for the remainder of the season let me know your thoughts in the matt doherty situation in the comment section below like subscribe and comment and as always come, come on, on you spurs, spurs.